Hello class, good day. Welcome to your fundamentals of ABM1. By the way, I am Teacher Pro, your teacher in this subject. Now, our topic for today is Introduction to Accounting. Lesson 1, Fundamentals of ABM1, Quarter 3. Before we proceed, I have important trivia for you to ponder. Do you agree that numbers is the language of business? Do you? Well, let us try to ponder. How will the manager know if the company is doing well? How can he or she know if additional investment is needed in a particular segment of the company? Yes. Accounting is the answer. To keep track of the status of the business, a business entrepreneur must have a technical know-how of accounting. What comes to your mind when you hear the word accounting? What do you think is our objective for today's video lesson? Any guess? Yes? Anybody can guess the objective? Very good. The objective of today's video lesson is you should be able to define accounting. Now let's see here, you are going to know the definition of accounting. In a skill, you are going to discuss the usefulness of accounting and the abilities you will be able to appreciate the usefulness of accounting in real life situation. Before we proceed, let us have a pretest. I want you to read each item carefully and use your notebook to write your answers. I will be giving you a few minutes for you to answer this. You can pause the video while you are still answering. Just write T if the statement is true and write F if the statement is false. Start now. Now let us explore first. In your own understanding, I want you to define accounting using this concept map. I will be giving you a few minutes to do this. Just pause this video lesson while you are still answering. Yes, just think of four concepts where in you are going to as far as your understanding is concerned about the definition of accounting. So after this class, let us try to go back to this activity later and try to check whether your own definition about and understanding of accounting is the same as the concept that we're going to tackle today. Okay? Accounting is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transaction, and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. Questions. Do your parents ask how, how you spend your allowances every day? When deciding between buying a bottle of soft drinks or fruit juice, what is the basis of your decision? Do you compare the prices of both before making a decision? When going home, do you sometimes choose to walk from school rather than ride in a tricycle because you want to save? The answer of these questions relate with money, whether you spend or you save. These are what we call as monetary decision, so it involves accounting. Before you can record, you need to identify first what are recordable events, and a recordable events are also called economic events. When we say economic events, it is an event 
or transaction which involves money transaction. Then the recorded transaction is a financial information which should be communicated to interested parties, whether internal user or external user. Later, we have a separate topic for types of user for you to learn more. Classifying. Classifying involves selecting economic events that are relevant to a particular business transaction. The economic events of an organization are referred to as transactions. Examples of economic events of, or transactions, I will be giving you an example of a bakery business. So economic events of a bakery business includes sales of bread and other bakery products, purchases of flour that will be used for baking, and purchases of trucks that will be needed to deliver the products. Those are just some of the examples of economic events or transaction that is recordable. Recording. This involves keeping a chronological diary of events that are measured in pesos. The diary referred to in the definition are the journals and ledgers. Later, you will learn what are journals and what are ledgers. Summarizing. This occurs through the preparation and distribution of financial and other accounting reports. Now again, what is accounting? This helps quantify data for easier interpretation. Data are used as guide for future decision making. Since accounting is a process, it is a system that helps businesses track events that affect them. And these are the major steps in accounting. We have identifying, recording, and communicating. When we say identifying, we're going to identify the events that affect the business. Again, it has to involve economic events. Then you are going to record and recording these events so that after all, you're going to summarize and communicate the results to all particular or interested parties. Another function of accounting is that it aids in improving businesses. It can identify potential problems encountered by the company, and the consolidated records can be used to attract potential investors. The accounting process. Since accounting involves steps, so it is a process. The first step is identification of economic events relevant to a business. So example here, sale of Toyota cars, provision of services by a hospital, payment to suppliers, purchase of equipment for the manufacturing of advanced shirts. Take note that relevant economic event is an event or transaction that involves money or financial character. Again, to be identified as a relevant economic event, there should be transfer of things with value. The accounting process. Second step is recording. Recording of relevant economic events history of financial activities so you have to record all the relevant economic events for you to learn the history of financial activities of a business so with that you can keep track on the status of the business so this is very important The accounting process should be done systematically and chronologically for easier tracking and interpretation. 
the accounting process includes records of events which are inputted in accounting books. Number three process or major steps of accounting is summarizing. You have to summarize all the recorded economic events into accounting reports. With this, this will provide meaningful and presentable information, makes information understandable to other parties, and this summarized report is a financial statement which most popular accounting reports used in presenting to other parties, especially when you are going to uh, look for financing. Now, let us test your knowledge in accounting. I want you to get a yellow pad for you to answer this assessment. 1. Define accounting. 2. Discuss at least one purpose of accounting. 3. Write at least one instance or example where accounting is really useful. Explain it briefly. Again, I would like to remind, if you are still answering, you may pause this slide for you to answer it well. Before we proceed, I would like to remind again that I want you to submit your answer during the retrieval of your answers of the modules that we have distributed a week ago. Okay? Now let's proceed to your additional activities. I want you to click the link or go to the link uh, in a quizlet.com where you are going to answer that one. Just click this link or you may write this link to your browser and go to this link and answer an online quizlet. I want you to screen sh screenshot your uh, score and post it in your blog yes so these are some of the references and print it also to the pictures from fppt.com that will be all for today class thank you for watching guys happy learning bye bye I'm your teacher Pearl now signing off. Bye-bye.